Storms at sea, how terrible is it? Just one wave of the sea can overturn a 20-ton yacht. The old man in the cabin can't react. Losing his weight and hitting the spars, he collapsed on the spot. When he woke up he found a huge hole in the deck from the waves. The water that had poured into the cabin was now up to his thighs. The old man didn't have time to think. In a force four storm, climbing out of the cabin with difficulty, pulling out his lifeboat, ready to escape, he ties a rope securely to the railing of the yacht, then with great effort, throwing the lifeboat into the sea. After watching the lifeboat float some distance away, the old man gives the rope a strong tug. The lifeboat starts to inflate itself, as he watches the lifeboat fully expand. The old man pulls it back with all his might, then he jumped onto the raft, putting up the rain shelter, exhausted. He passes out. When he wakes up again, the sea is calm, and the yacht that was towing him had by now sunk more than halfway. So the old man hurriedly pulled the rope closer to the yacht. Before the yacht sank completely, he took all the canned food and supplies he could carry to the lifeboat. Then he watched as his beloved yacht sink completely into the sea. But even so, the old man didn't give up hope of survival. In order to determine his position as quickly as possible, the old man opened his first aid kit and pulled out his well-preserved sextant. He learned how to use it by using the manual. When he had finished, he calculated the coordinates and plotted his position on the chart. At that moment he suddenly realized that there was an international shipping lane directly north of him. If he drifted there, there was a chance that a passing cargo ship would find him. So after five days and nights of drifting the old man was getting close to the channel. But by now, his body was severely dehydrated from the long exposure to the sun. All the food he had taken off the yacht had been eaten. If he didn't find a way to get some fresh water, he would die in this tiny lifeboat sooner or later. But there's nothing in this vast ocean. Where could he find fresh water? With that in mind, the old man clutches his hair. He let out a silent roar. But just as he was in despair, the old man seems to have spotted something, and lifted the awning with a jerk, and looked up at the sun in the sky. He noticed that under the sun's rays, the plastic film on the surface of the awning had condensed into a mist of water, and this gave the old man. He saw the hope of survival, so he immediately looked at the bucket of water in front of him. He took out his pocket knife, ready to make a simple fresh water device. 